Hey guys, welcome back to another installment of Pride Fridays. Today I would like to tell my coming out story. My story begins when I was a toddler around four or five years old. I would crawl or flop to my birth sister's closet and put on her bras, high heels, and bracelets. I also enjoyed having my nails painted. Then things didn't really resurface until I was 11 at which point I was adopted into a southern conservative family. I remember so vividly when an authority figure got all up in arms about me wearing the silver bracelet I had at the time. I was essentially told that I was not to wear it but I could keep it in a box because boys don't wear jewelry. Then when I was 12 or 13, my family and I were over at another family's house to hang out or something. I was with a male friend who was around the same age. If I recall correctly, he was showing me his hamster. While we were in the middle of that I tried to kiss this male friend on the lips. Probably for the better, someone walked in at that moment and broke things up. Needless to say I was scolded severely and was schooled that two men are never to kiss like this etc. Over the next several years, I didn't have any significant encounters or happenings. I did however hear jokes about Bill Clinton would be the first lady if Hillary won and other AIDS related jokes clearly showing disdain for the LGBT community etc. Then a couple of years later, this guy named Eric started attending the same church. Eric would make remarks that was clearly homosexual in nature while hanging out with the guys at church. I would be so disgusted and enraged that he would even dare to bring the topic of homosexuality up in a setting like church and just report it to an authority figure. I share this to demonstrate the self-loathing I was engaged in. I was pointing out the behavior slash speech of another person similar to the thoughts I was having to deflect from me and to prop me up as this good moral boy. Around this time I inquired an iPod as a Christmas gift. I do have to say I did sneak on porn sites and watch both heterosexual and gay porn when I was home alone. Heterosexual porn wasn't interesting but gay porn did however arose me mentally and physically. In short, this continued until I moved down to Wilmington. Once in Wilmington, I would start experiencing dating apps such as OkCupid, Grindr, and Tinder though it was limited cause I didn't have internet at the time and had to rely on a nearby Starbucks and laundromats for internet connection for the first year or so. The first person I came out to was someone with more progressive views on social issues including homosexuality. I actually came out to this person online over Facebook Messenger while sitting outside of Starbucks. This individual then offered to introduce me to a couple of her friends who happened to be gay. We had a lovely visit sitting on the beach and then a meal. I also became friends with this couple on Facebook and posted a picture of the three of us as new friends on Facebook. Sometime after I posted this picture, I received messages from an individual saying, Oh they're gay and their agenda is to get you and I should unfriend them because they are from the devil etc. I also got the same verbal treatment when I saw this individual. When I finally was able to get internet at my place which was ironically the exact same day I joined the LDS church by immersion, I started to watch YouTubers like Aaron and Austin Rhodes, Luke and Vinny, Will and Red J, Connor Franta, Joey and Daniel, Luke and Trent among others. About two months later, I was attending a camp put on by the LDS church leadership for the young single adults in the region. They often have dances at these events. I was enjoying the evening watching everyone else dance and have a great time. Then my friend and a couple of others Peter pressured me into dancing with this girl from our church. I wasn't going to dance the one-on-one -on -one dances cause I didn't feel comfortable and such. Just a side note, if two boys were allowed to dance together, I would have been out on the dance floor hitting on the guys. For the next year or so, I continued being on the previously mentioned dating apps. During this time, 
I frequently hear jokes such as if he is attracted to me aka another man, there must be something mentally wrong with him. Another dude actually joked and said, I would marry you if you were as beautiful as a woman. I try to laugh these jokes off and not let them get to me personally, but after a certain limit, you just can't. Then this happened, I... I remember waking up and turning on CNN. My heart just ached in pain for the victims and the whole LGBT community. Then I went on my new feeds and the fact that no one was mentioning LGBT in their condolences struck a nerve with me. I remember watching LGBT influencers dedicating videos to the victims. I also watched Anderson Cooper and Don Lemon handle the coverage of this tragedy professionally in the days and weeks after. In short, the Pulse Nights Club shooting is the event that triggered me to come out as gay publicly. I came out because I was inspired by the stories of the victims and their courage to live their lives unapologetically. I actually came out via a blog post which will be linked down below if anyone is interested. The reaction was mixed. A few people unfriended me, while others seemed to be okay with the fact I was gay. I got several likes and loves on my Facebook post. As always there are always bad apples who just want to pick fights because of their religious beliefs. Quite frankly, those people are not worth the time of day so just ignore them. I have learned this first hand. Now I want to share one last experience which ties into me actually coming out. Some time after I came out, I had a talk with a leader in the LDS church. This leader was harping on the fact that I got support on my blog post and that I should wait on the Lord etc. To this dogma I say, get a life. Instead of actually trying to understand what someone is experiencing both on this topic and others, people like this leader just pew out dogma which they have been fed by organizations. Before I close, I just want to say if you are still in the closet and struggling, feel free to reach out and only come out and live authentically if you have a safe place and a backup plan for if something goes wrong. Well folks, that's my coming out story, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Bye.